Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting on breaking down a cup of liberty from Hell Divers 2. Boom! It's building up really fast. Oh, oh, oh. I need change the articulation in, this, in the string, mate. Sounds amazing. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what a theme, mate. That theme was awesome. It's building up again really fast. And it's doing a variation now. <laughs> and it has a pulse now. <laughs> We will keep listening in a bit. Let's start the breakdown with some keywords. The first one, the theme. Absolutely amazing motif that is full to the brim with shifting emotions like valor, boldness, fearless determination, even euphoria. The kind of states in which Super Earth would like its health divers to be. To face the horrific foes that threaten our immaculate democracy. And that is exactly what the theme is trying to do for you as well as a player. It's not only about the story of the game, but placing you in the boots, so to speak, of one of them. You are a hell diver, and therefore you need the inspiring, zealot like devotion for warfare and sacrifice. But as the theme goes, so it evolves and transforms into struggle and uncertainty. We went into battle thinking we were invincible, but it turns out that it's not the case at all. So it can't be said that the song offers a balance in its storytelling that is completely leveraged by what happens in the game as well. Second keyword, variation. The motif changes when it repeats as more layers of instruments are involved, raising drastically the tension and the stakes. But in this case, it becomes more interwoven in between the heroism and the conflict from the start as we hear the brass becoming more powerful to give you that courage once more. But the strings right on top already are fighting that premise with its tragic sound, maybe as a prelude of what's coming. Third keyword, martial. Even though this song doesn't have a traditional martial percussion, it does have a more synthetic, modern approach, you could say, to imprint the militaristic nature to it. I'm not really sure if this is correct, but I think Hans Simmers started to popularize this by interchanging martial percussion and pulses in the 90s with movies like The Rock, Which brings the best of both worlds. The old time tradition on military bands, but also the modern take of that. Now, before we carry on listening, I want to quote a couple of references from Fong that claim that to drop from Starship Troopers. So awesome.
By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you give some liberty to that like button? This reminds me so much of uh, Mass Effect 2. It dumped all the energy here. It has like a solo string here. It's all the string symbol doing it. Oh, no, no, this is too good. Mate, I'm doing the theme at the end. Mate, that was so cool. Now the storytelling in the second cue of the song is very interesting. The first one builds up aggressively and has a lot of energy, as it also builds the tension really hard. In this part though, it dumps all that energy to have a huge contrast to be able to change the narrative. It feels to me like we have had this huge battle and now we are in the aftermath of that, where we see the landscape of destruction, dead and carnage. And as the song continues, it starts to tell the story of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. But also those who come forth in their place to carry on the fight for liberty. And as so is told, a renewed sense of hope burst into. Only to be contrasted by the resolution as we hear the theme tenuously sounding and fading, leaving us in uncertainty once more. And this is really cool because musically the theme resolves, but production wise, it doesn't. And so we have an overarching back and forth, a cycle, and a robberos where hell divers are destined to fight and die. But as they die, more come to wage war, and so on and so forth, for Ao's end. Which is where I come with another banger reference, the Imperial Guard from Warhammer 40k. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and check this other reaction that I did, alright? Because I'm doing my part. For the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs>